Guys, it's me, SCR Sports Network, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how Chuck Pagano, our defensive coordinator, has retired from the NFL, from coaching in the NFL. Um, this one's going to be a little short video, maybe like around four minutes. Um, not, not, a, it's not, uh, you know, like my predictions video or anything. It's now the 2021 20, off season for the Chicago Bears, and um, there's going to be lots of moves that have been made. This is the first one. It the Chicago Bears didn't really do it. It was Chuck Pagano um, that the, that retired. So. Uh, I'm going to be talking about why this is actually good for the Bears. This was good that he retired because Chuck Pagano has not done, been doing good um, coaching for the Chicago Bears while well, being a defense coordinator ever since. I want Vic Fangio back. If we could get Vic Fangio back, get get him back, man, that will be just epic. We did not have, even last year and this year, we've not had near the amount of turnovers. Um that we had so if we could get uh if we if we could um if we could get him back that'll be that'll be really that'll be really cool so i'm just gonna be talking about what i what i think is actually good about this and let's get into this video so my next so the first thing i want to talk about is he made this defense way worse i mean the defense went from being the best in the nfl in 2018 to this year being to 2019 and this year being only average not even top 10 i mean our defense with how much talent we have um you know roquan smith akeem hicks Khalil mack should be robert quinn but he's been um the boss jalen johnson kyle fuller the list goes on and on and on and on so and eddie goldman but he actually did not play this season due to covid he kind of dropped out so, why are we not top five? Why? Why we should be? We should be top three. That's the question that I'm. I want to ask Chuck Pagano right now, but now he's retired, and so now the Bears are in in uh, looking for a new defensive coordinator that could hopefully turn this defense back into its 2018 self. Um. So he just really he just came into here. He made this defense where we didn't get those turnovers and everything just kind of went downhill from there. Now I'm gonna go a little further in depth. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is he was not a fit for this defense at all. I mean, he kind of in the first half of the season he kept us top ten. Uh, we were first in red zone, first in the red zone. We were. Uh, first on third, we're first um, defending on third downs. So I mean, he was doing okay, but he it was nothing compared to 2018 when Vic Fangio was there. He um, so this is kind of leading into my uh, this is kind of this is kind of leading to my third point. Um, so like this is they're kind of mixed together. I uh, I guess you could say uh, Chuck Pagano's. Play design was very, very, very bad. Um, he never, he never did anything um, aggressive. Hold on a second, you write something down. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so he was not aggressive at all. He never blitzed. He, he kind of, he kind of in a way just kind of played. I guess you could call it prevent defense. He wasn't like pushing coverage. He wasn't doing he wasn't doing tight coverage. He wasn't doing um he wasn't blitzing. He wasn't trying to get our guys in positions to do to get turnovers and interceptions. Eddie Jackson had no turnovers this year, which was which was very very bad. So, Chuck Pagano He's a good person and all, but I've, that's what I've heard. I've never met him, but he's just not a fit for this team, and I think this move was good. And now the Bears, uh, now they got rid of him. They need a new defense coordinator this offseason, and uh, this is just the first kind of fire. We're not firing, but it's someone that's off the team for the Bears. So now uh, I think someone who you, could, who you should look into for firing is probably – Matt Nagy, I'm kind of 50-50 on him. Uh, I'll, um, I'll probably be making videos on what they what we should do 
in the off season, and then down the line all the way in April, I'll be talking about that's in <laughs> that's in a few months now. I can't believe it. We're saying April. There's snow on the ground right now. Uh, I'll be talking about what uh, I think they should do in the draft. And then you know, then I'll be doing my reactions on the draft. And it's right back this to o- OTAs and training camp. Um, and then yeah, so then I'm gonna be doing my season review video. I think tomorrow I'm trying to try to do like videos more often uh, because my predictions videos took a little bit longer. They had a lot of things to talk about. Now there's that not that much to talk about, um, but I can make more videos. Um, guys, just right now, go hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 2,000 views, so thank you to the people who are watching. Uh, we're almost at, um, you know, we're getting, we're getting, we're working our way up to 200. We're working our way up. So please hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. So, I mean, why not? This gives you notifications when I post a video on it. And it's in your YouTube feed. So you, you know, it helps me out and it'll be a benefit for you. So guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. You know, I, I kept it short and sweet. I was just um, telling you about the news. I posted this on Instagram earlier today, like a few hours ago, but it's not really uh, too big of news, but I think it'll definitely, if we find a good replacement for him, I think it'll definitely help out um, help out this defense and help out this team a lot. Um, so, yeah, that pretty much wraps up my video. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe. It is completely free. Um, you know, I'll be making a video hopefully tomorrow. Uh, I got my homework done pretty early today, so I had a little bit of time to make this video. Um, and guys, hit that subscribe button. And as always, bear down.